and um, you know, obviously, isn't feeling 100 percent running or jumping off of it. So, uh, you know, it's it's a great opportunity for somebody else to, to step up and play a key role for us. Can I uh, ask you to just go back Saturday night for a second and your reaction to that shot? It looked like you kind of turned around, you're looking for your cell phone or something. Did the pulse spike at all on that? Not, not much. Um, you know, I know it's supposed to, but it's, I said this yesterday, it's my job to to move on to what's next and my, my thought goes to, in coaching a team, you're always thinking about what's the next obstacle. So my thought is, we're going to have a hard time turning around emotionally if this thing's going to overtime. Um, and then the other part of it is, is um, you know, we're going to have a hard time emotionally turning around Monday night. And so, um, you know, it's just what your thoughts go to. And I know that sounds crazy. I get a lot more excited about a play in the middle of the game than maybe one that, to me, is inconsequential to how we play, whether or not the shot goes in or not. Most excited I think we've seen is probably in the locker room with Butler. Yeah, and most of the times we don't have cameras in there, so <laughs> may not be able to see that very often. Hey, Brad, Brad, how much time do you spend on uh, late game situation plays, out of bounds plays, special plays like that? Um, I mean, I don't know how, how if I'm different than any other coach. I, I can't answer that to know if it's. No, I didn't ask if you were if it was there. Uh, how much time a do you spend? A little bit, a little bit. But every night, you know, I turn on the TV like everybody else, and you know when I lay down in bed and I watch whatever game's on and um, you know many times I've taken something from those games you know whether they be uh, college games or pro games um, or uh, you know even when I was recruiting you could go to a high school game you see any little wrinkle that somebody's running on an out of bounds play I mean you just you're always watching the game like that now did you watch those games last night I did not watch very much last night no I did I mean, maybe for us maybe for couple of minutes here or there. When you do watch a college game, any part of you miss it? Um, uh, the only thing I miss, I told, I told my wife this this morning, the only thing I miss from, from the college game are the people that I were around every day. You know, otherwise this is a, a unique new challenge. Basketball is basketball in a lot of ways. And, um, but certainly, you know, the, the, the thing you miss are the people, but you know, I don't miss the in particulars of the game necessarily. When you see a new play, do you pull out your pad real quickly? And sometimes, sometimes I do that, um, and uh, you know, I've got a, I've got, a, I've also got a, um, a little database on my, on my laptop where I can pull and, and just kind of plug it into that and just add it up throughout the year. And maybe you just look at that on a plane ride or look at that before a game and think like it might be efficient or effective against whoever you're playing. Before uh, you took this job, did you recruit any of those guys who were in this class, and have you seen a lot of them, the Jamar Parkers? The I don't know anything about any of that stuff. I don't want to talk about that. I'm sorry. Who's who's going to uh, take the minutes from Solinger tonight? Chris Humphries. And, and what do you think about the way he's played so far? I thought he's been really, I thought he's played great, and uh, I really think that you know at the end of the day, he's he's a guy that's been there, done that. He's done a great job rebounding. He's done a great job of scoring. Um, and he's been a consummate pro, which I'm really appreciative of. What are the challenges that you see in, in dealing with a guy like Alex Jefferson who's obviously trying to get back into the Philippines? Yeah, I, I think um, he, he's, a, he's a tough matchup. He's a tough matchup for anybody. I, I've watched Al play a lot because i watched a lot of jazz games the last <coughs> couple of years. He's, uh, he's a scorer. He, he's got great feel around the basket. He gets to the foul line. You know, they're averaging 38 free throw attempts and wins and 15 in losses. So having him back only increases your free throw attempts. Um, but he's a, he's a really good player. And, and, and obviously, I'm really familiar with, uh, I heard McRoberts isn't here, but McRoberts and Zeller. And, um, I think their front line is a good front line.